If you want the chance to win one of my Rocket League giveaways, do these following steps. The first step is to like my video and subscribe to my channel with post notifications on. And now you have to join the Discord with this link which is in the description down below. When you hit level 5 in my Discord server, you should see this screen. All you have to do is click the giveaway channel and then you have to click this emoji and join the Discord server link above. And now you should be entered in the giveaway. But don't forget to check out Alex Exchange. They sell Rocket League items for the cheapest price as possible and you can even sell your items to them. They are the most secure and the safest place to sell your items and buy items. So make sure you check them out in the description below. So make sure to use code AIM for a discount at checkout. But let's continue with today's video. Alright guys, in today's video we're doing a top 10 most expensive items just in a random list. This is not like in the whole game. This is just like expensive items that you might not know about. So let's get into it. The number 10 item on this list is going to be the white emeralds. If you don't know, the white emeralds are around 15k on the spreadsheet, and these are quite cheap at the price they used to be. I'm pretty sure they used to be around 20,000 credits, and these are an RLCS drop, so people can get these for free. I'm not sure if they're still in rotation of the RLCS fan rewards, but I know recently they did come back, so they did drop a lot in price. So these are very, like, they used to be rare, they came back, so they're not as rare as they used to be. But they're still quite expensive for a free wheel that basically anyone could get if they were just around at the time. But they do look pretty clean and the Emerald Pros were inspired by them. If you don't know what Emerald Pros are, Emerald Pros are the wheels Zenic uses in basically every single video he has ever has done. So yeah, basically that's it for this number 10. Let's hop into number 9. So on number 9 is going to be the White Octane. The White Octane is an import car which is painted titanium white basically and it's one of the most popular items in Rocket League if you didn't know. Everyone knows what a White Octane is basically and yeah everyone wants one. I do think these White Octanes are kind of overrated but a lot of people do like them because they're the most popular car, the Octane and the most popular colour. So two most popular things together make a really expensive item but even though it's only 18k on the spreadsheet it is number 9 so it's kind of surprising seeing a White Octane all the way down on number nine on this list and I, I personally didn't expect it because i thought it was gonna be a lot higher like number five but nope number nine so that is it for number nine let's hop into number eight number eight is going to be the beta nugget this item is a beta item as you can tell by the name and it sometimes get confused with alpha items but it's completely different the beta and alpha are like basically different parts of the game the alpha came out first so that's why they're more rare and then the beta um, came out after and if you didn't know to get the beta nugget you had to apply for the beta which you had to do on your phone or pc or whatever you had you could be on any platform because some of my friends who are on ps4 they all have beta nuggets There's like six of them with beta nuggets and they don't even trade so they just have beta nuggets casually in their inventories i guess but anyway you don't need to have any requirements doing this but now you can't do it because the beta is obviously over but it was a good thing a good thing to do at the time so if you did do this you're pretty lucky because now it's like 20k on the spreadsheet so you definitely made some profit from just getting the beta just supporting the game you got a beta nugget so congrats if you do have the beta nugget but it is 22k on the spreadsheet right now up next is the white dominus this is a fairly new item which has recently came out and has been at the top of the game for a while now if you don't know white dominus is like 40k on the spreadsheet it's crazy how the white dominus is just not dropping in price yet i thought it'd be like 10k by now but no this and no one even uses the dominus that i even know so this is not even the most popular car in the game yet because it's so rare i guess it's not even that rare to be honest but you can just get this 40k credits i mean that's a ton of credits that's like my whole inventory if i really wanted one of these i do have two of these but they're from the item shop and it's crazy how this thing was in the item shop twice and it's still 40k credits so this is a really cool thing that has happened so yeah let's get to the next one the white apex this item is probably something you were expecting because everyone knows what the white apex is and everyone knows it's one of the most expensive wheels in the game apart from something else that is on this, this list later on is but anyway white apex is like one of the most expensive wheels in the game and th we're not talking about certifications in this video but if we were the white apex would be a lot more like pricier because the striker cert is a lot more than the normal apex is but anyway i'm getting off um, topic the white apex is just one of the most expensive wheels in the game that's all i can say on this one and you should definitely if you if you have the credits and you think it's a good enough buy definitely get this number five is going to be the white reaper 
this is some up that is 40,000 credits on the spreadsheet but in reality you can sell these for 100,000 credits it's pretty crazy how the spreadsheet is so messed up on these items some items on the spreadsheet are actually worth a crap ton more than they look out to be because it turns out that RL Insider isn't always right and the prices are kind of messed up in some of the items so let's hop into the next item of this episode Alright guys, next up we got the alpha cap, as you can see some people have a lot of alpha caps but I'm pretty sure this image I'm showing you right now is edited but there is a lot of alpha caps out there, not as many as you think to be honest because it is an alpha item so it is basically as rare as the other item, alpha items but I, in my opinion I think it's like one of the best except from like the alpha boost obviously but anyway the alpha cap is also Zenic has this one, Zenic has two things on this list um, but anyway Zenic basically has this um, alpha cap. It's like 150k on the spreadsheet. It's pretty crazy nowadays. I mean, alpha cap, pretty good uh, item in my opinion. I would definitely cop one if I had enough credits. But that's it for number four. So let's just hop into the number three. On, on number three, we got the goldstone wheels. If you don't know, these wheels are they're the alpha items, and they're basically one of the most like they are the most expensive wheels in the game. These were obviously like the other Alpha Cap and Alpha Boost. They came out when the Alpha stage of Rocket League was happening. So don't get it confused with the Beta Nugget because it's a lot more rare than the Beta Nugget. I'm pretty sure this is like the most expensive Alpha item out there. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I don't know if the Alpha Boost is more, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the most. Actually, it's the second most expensive Alpha item out there. So my bad. Second most expensive Alpha item out there. And the next one on this list is going to be the most expensive. But this is like insane if you just look at it on the the screen it just looks so clean i'm pretty sure john the sandman has them i'm not sure though he might be using backers mod by the way backers mod you can get all these items for free if you have backers mod backers mod it basically lets you get any item in the game for absolutely free but whatever um these wheels yeah they're pretty clean that's all i need to say about these and they are the third most expensive thing on this list and just saying this is list this list isn't every single item in the game it's just 10 that i've chosen and put in an order so let's get into the next item Next up is the Alpha Boost, as you could guess, because last time I said this is going to be an Alpha item, and this is the most expensive Alpha item out there. 800 to 900k credits on the spreadsheet. I'm not too sure about this real value because people might pay more or less for this, but I, all I know is it's one of the most expensive items in the game, and it's an Alpha reward boost. So, as I said before, Alpha items come in the Alpha stage. Rocket League said it's three times now, but basically. It's probably the best boost in the game. It has a really nice sound to it. But then again, it could be known as overrated because it is just a normal boost kind of in a way. But it does have a nice little sound effect. But let's get into the last and final thing about this video. And you might have guessed it that Alpha Hat is the number one thing. Alright, so the Alpha Hat has no specific price on it right now. But I've heard of stories of it selling for $2,000 or or some, probably even more than that to be honest, but I've heard some many stories about people selling it for a lot of money and phew, it's insane, real life money can be exchanged for this one little hat. You can get this iron by discovering really bad glitches which could really break the game, so if you do find one and no one else knows about it, you could tell Psyonix and they might give you a white hat if you're like a pro hacker and know how to do this stuff, but let's, let's end the video there. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and turn post notifications on, check out a sponsor, comment something nice down below and tell me something like pancakes so I know you made it all the way to the end of the video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.